All right, Kenneth, we're here at Adidas Nations, just a couple weeks removed from the USA minicamp. Wanted to talk to you about that first. Uh, what was that experience like getting to go up against some of the best and trying to find a spot to compete for your country? Uh, it was amazing, you know, just the whole atmosphere. These guys is basically future all-stars and everybody, some of us are going to be future Hall of Fames. And it was just amazing to go against that type of talent. And competing against that type of talent makes you want to compete at the highest level. And that's what everybody was just doing, being at the highest level, trying to play and earn a spot. Yeah, the reviews on you were, were, were pretty positive. How did you feel about how you performed there? I think I did all right. You know, I uh, uh, tweaked my ankle right before, you know, so just trying to get that better. And just right now, I just think I was all right. What are some of the things you've been working on specifically this offseason? Uh, my jump shot and my free throws, my free throws especially, because I get fouled a lot. And I want to be able to be in the game, late game, and coach say, hey, you go knock the free throw down. Or when we got a technical foul, I'm on the court, he say, hey, go shoot the free throw. I want that type of confidence and that type of, you know, free throw percentage. That's been a, a lot of changeover with the Nuggets. Andre Iguodala joins the Golden State Warriors. And uh, no real big signing to replace him. How do you feel about the potential internal development with the Nuggets that can kind of help replace the loss of a big guy like Andre? Uh, I think we'd be fine. You know, Andre made his own decision to go where he wanted to go. Uh, more power to him, do his own thing. But right now we're focused on us, and I think we'll be fine. We have that type of nucleus and that type of team that guys are going to step up. And with the, and I'm glad it happened during the off season, not during the regular season, because guys will step up, and we do have people to replace. Who are some of the guys that you would pinpoint on the team that could be poised for breakout seasons? Uh... Hmm. Maybe a guy like Ty have a really breakout season. I mean, he really came alive in the playoffs last year. JaVale can have a really breakout season this year. And maybe a young guy can step up, like Jordan Hamilton, Evan Fournier. Now, while you were in Vegas, you got a chance to get some early interactions with your new head coach, Brian Shaw. What were those like, and how do you envision your role changing under him, if at all? Uh, it, was, it was good. You know, it was positive, just talking to him, getting to know him a little bit. Uh, he's a great guy. He's really, really humbled and happy about the opportunity to basically play basketball. I meant, excuse me, to coach basketball and be a head coach this time around. And I'm happy to see what he's going to bring to the table because he's young and enthusiastic and shows. And so is our team. When I talked to him, he said that you know didn't want to change too much because last year's team was obviously very successful and has been successful. But that one of the things he could implement is more inside-out play. How much are you looking forward to that? Oh, that's going to be fun. You know. I get to work on some of the moves that I learned from Hakeem that I've been basically harnessing, trying to keep in a little nugget just in case a, a time does come. And it's going to be fun to see how that, re that reacts, especially with JaVale. Me and JaVale both went to the camp, so it's going to be fun to uh, use, be able to use that during the game and implement that during the season. And speaking of Hakeem, spent some time with him and kind of learned about what, what he is that he teaches you guys. What was that experience like, and what did you take away the most from it? Uh, it was a fun experience. I, I took away that he's a, he's a really good guy. I mean, he's nice, he's humble, he's he's happy that he's able to still coach and still play the game. And if I mean, if we played the, a 41 game season and he played all home games, I think he could still play. Less running, but I think he could still play. How confident are you in your dream shake? Uh, not as confident as he was. <laughs> But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right. And then uh, last question. to talk about Brian Shaw coming in. But how tough was it for you to see a guy who you had a lot of success under and George Carl leave the team? Uh, it was tough, you know, especially he put me in my – was able to put me on the floor my first year. And he had faith in me. Then I got a starting spot. And it was just amazing to, of a coach he was just to mold – be able to help me mold me into that, that starting spot as a rookie and help me have a breakout season. It's going to be tough to see him go, but it's it's the game. you got to just live with the good and the bad. People are expecting a little bit of a drop-off considering your success last year and the loss of Andre and George, but how much how confident are you that you guys can replicate last year's success? Uh, I'm very confident. You know, guys going to step up, and we're excited. The coach is excited. The organization is excited. And hopefully our fans jump on board and be excited also.